neutralized. I'm reloading. Tango marked. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today, as you could probably already guess by the first clip I showed you and by my title, I want to talk about dice balancing failures with 2042 and especially with the VHX. So, to most of the people's surprise, DICE released a, yeah, I would call it a hotfix a few days ago, where they tried to address the problems with the VHX since, from their own words, the VHX is the most selected assault rifle in the game. And the gun, as basically everybody knows, was simply too strong. Now, what did they do? They increased the dispersion build up when firing fully automatic, meaning the gun becomes inaccurate faster. They decreased the amount of times it takes for when you are burst firing for your spread to reset. And they also decreased the horizontal recoil by around 10% to make burst firing more effective or longer range basically. And what they tried to address with this was basically they wanted to make the gun weaker on range. Did they accomplish this? Yes, but as you could probably already see in the first clip and also in the clips I'm currently showing you while talking, is that it didn't really change a lot with the gun. Honestly, I already heard some people saying the 10% horizontal recoil reduction was actually a buff and the dispersion doesn't really matter. And I'm leaning on to, you know, kind of agree with the statement. After playing this gun a bit and I actually choose a uh, long range map, not redacted since the changes are not really noticeable on redacted. And test the gun, I don't think like the nerf did like anything. The only thing it did was that really really bad players can no longer just hold on the trigger over long range. They now have to burst, but even if you hold down the trigger I still got I think a few kills. Just like holding down the fire button on range, even if it took me like 40 mags and a reload, 40 mags, 40 bullets and a reload or something, so it's still possible, that's not as effective. But honestly I would say, for your average to really good player, the gun just got better. You simply now burst fire over range, what you should do anyways, so that's nothing but you now also get less horizontal recoil, meaning the gun in most engagements is even easier to control. And I just don't understand it. Why dice? They said in the tweet that based on community feedback, and like I think the feedback is clear. Basically everybody says the gun has too little vertical recoil, the gun reloads very fast. I don't think that's a big problem honestly, the reload speed is kinda average for like most of the guns maybe slightly faster. And the gun does way too much DPS, especially with headshot and the ranges are too high. I will put up two pictures on screen, on the left side will be the VHX damage ranges and on the right side will be the AM40 damage ranges. I think that's a nice comparison since they both basically have the same function, you know, being high damage close quarters guns since they have a high fire rate and as you can see the AM40 drops off so much faster even though it has the same damage than the VHX and I think a pretty simple change to the VHX would be to orientate the gun's damage model on the AM40. You know this would basically mean decreased damage overall but I think this would balance the guns out because in my personal opinion the way the VHX functions I think the gun is best suited as a close quarters assault rifle that you can sometimes stretch your ranges a little bit with. But the current problem is just, yeah the gun is super strong in close range, the gun is super strong on long range and with the horizontal decrease I actually think the gun might even now compete with stuff like the Scar H or the G46 or GV46 whatever you want to call it. Since the gun is now really good even on range and now you have the problem where the VHX is strong in everything the gun does and if you have a gun that's strong in everything it does you have a problem that the gun becomes a crutch weapon for a lot of people and also becomes the best choice for a lot of people. And that's what we're currently seeing when DICE said it's the most used assault rifle. So yeah, I just don't understand how DICE cannot simply listen to player feedback and say, oh, they say the damage is too high on the gun and too less and the vertical recoil is too little. Yeah, how about we just go ahead and change those things instead of the weird bandage fix they did. But yeah, that's basically all I wanted to say. And I also need to say, if this is how DICE balances the guns for the rest of the year, yeah, we'll probably see a few more OP guns in the next battle pass or in season 7 and season 8 they won't get nerfed. I hope that's not the case and I hope DICE in the next few days says you know what guys we made a mistake but knowing DICE 
I don't think this will happen. And now I would like to hear from you. What do you think? Do you think the nerf was good? Do you think the nerf was bad? Or do you just think the nerf did basically nothing? Well, anyways, if you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like and subscribing for future Battlefield content. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.